Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to my channel. This is Just Another. Today is Sunday, January 4th. Happy New Year to all of you. And shout out to all of you who had a hard time over the holiday season. I know quite a few people who the holidays is just not their favorite time of year for a number of different reasons. So you made it. It's a new year and blessings to all of you over this next year and beyond, of course. Um, so my channel uh, for this year is going to stay the same in terms of the content weight loss vlogs I'm going to change the focus of my weight loss journey though. I'm not going to focus so much on the scale um, I am still a bit obsessed about that but I'm kind of going to scale back on that and just focus on the fact that it is a lifetime journey which means that I'll have I'll stumble and fall and get discouraged you guys saw that at the end of the year but I'm back I feel I feel motivated again and I'll talk about that in my weight loss vlog for this week because I'm going to upload every week for this month at least um, thrift hauls will continue for a while. My favorite time of year for thrifting is fall and winter. Um, hair and makeup. I took my braids out. So I'll be doing some hair videos coming up. I have a lot of new products that I purchased over Black Friday. Anyway, I did get a request for this palette. How I use the NYX Conceal Palette. Conceal, Correct, and Contour. So I'll be um, demonstrating that. I hope you guys have a great year. Oh, for as far as my resolutions, I don't have any resolutions. I never make resolutions. I just want to focus on, um, continue to focus on my photography and makeup business. Like this spring and summer is the busiest time of year for that. So I'm counting on having a good season. This winter, I'm going to continue to take classes I just recently took. A camera class another camera class and um, just some goals for my family we just plan on doing some traveling this year and I'm gonna try and get my husband in the gym this year or at least get on some type of healthy lifestyle journey and that's about it you guys I don't do resolutions but for all of you who do I hope you stay on track and um, yeah just wishing you all the best stay tuned guys okay so I'm gonna get started my face has already been moisturized nothing else is on it I'm going to, uh, and I already filled this brow in, and so I'm going to clean it up using this dark, it's the dark palette right here. So I'm going to use that top color on this L flat brush. I'm going to use my mirror. Might need to zoom you in just a little bit. And I just filled it in with a pencil and then this um, this brow this new um, Maybelline brow drama it looks kind of dark but so I'm just gonna go outline the bottom and kind of flick it down so I could blend it and this just helps to make my eyebrow look freshly waxed or shaved. And I just use my finger to blend it. And I make sure as close as possible that I get that line blended. I don't want just a line to be across there. And the color is slightly lighter than my skin tone, which is perfect because then I don't have to necessarily wear a brow bone color. I don't have to highlight up there. And then I could take it on top but when I do that I don't always go on top but when I do I use a skin tone color because I don't want that halo effect so I'm gonna get that blended out a little more but then I just take if you can see let me zoom you back out because that's a little blurry but if you can see I have some discoloration going on top and on bottom so on top, I'll just take this LA Girl Concealer in Beautiful Bronze. Okay, so I laid this Beautiful Bronze all over my lid, blended it out with my finger, and then now I'll just take um, Dance the Tides and set both the brow bone and the lid concealer and then that will just make for a perfect canvas to start laying down my shadow and 
And let's see. So now I'm going to do the coloring, the discoloration underneath my underneath my um, eyes. I'm going to just take some moisturizer. Even though my face has already been moisturized a little bit ago, I'm going to add some right there. I like to kind of, I like for my under eye to be a little moist under there before I add my concealer. I keep looking over here in my viewfinder. I don't know if you guys know this, but my hands are a lot darker than my face. They're darker than the rest of my body. Isn't that weird? Anyway, so now I'm going to take this orange color. And I'm going to use this brush. It's dirty because I used it. It's dabbing it. These colors are real stiff. I like that for up here, but not necessarily for under here, but that's okay. Um, putting that moisturizer on right before I do this really helps with creasing. I don't typically have problems with creasing when I do that. And I learned that trick from um, Goss Makeup. Just put on two coats. My nose is running. Sorry, y'all. And then I'm going to just blend that out a little bit with my little sponge. And that just cancels out that dark circle. Match just a little more right there. And then I'll lay my concealer on top of that. And I know some people, they'll put their foundation down first and then they'll um, correct. And I sometimes I'll do that too. I'm using Maybelline Fit Me. I'm going a little fast because I don't want this video to be long and I'm in a hurry. I'll use that same sponge. the difference so I'll just prime my face put on my foundation and I don't go over this part right here I just blend it where they meet and I'll do the other eye and come back okay so let me sh tell you real quick because I've already done one cheek I'll do the other cheek I um, set my face while well, I used the primer that I used is a Becca primer that I probably shouldn't use in the winter time because I don't have problems with shine but this is a really good mattifying, mattifying primer um, from Becca and but I pulled that off the shelf and I'm gonna have to just put that back on the shelf and save it for this spring and summer and then I'm still using the um, BB cream from Black Radiance and Cafe and I set my face with under my eye I set it with this Care Blend by MAC and then L'Oreal True Match and um, cocoa from my all over my face and so I'm gonna just do this side going into that middle color using this brush I need to wash my brushes today is wash day let me use this mirror I probably should have did my other cheek on camera but I have hyperpigmentation right where my contour is my contour line so I don't have to make the fish face because it's just that hyperpigmentation right there. So I just put it right there. I hope y'all can see that. I don't come all the way out to my cheek. I just leave it right there. And then I take this brush. Looks like that. And I like to kind of flick it up at the top just to get it blended at the top 
then I'm gonna lay down CoverGirl Queen in Ebony Bronze. It's a bronzer, so I just like to put that down on my cheeks before I lay down my blush because it's winter and it just warms up my cheeks. And then kind of just overlay it on the top of that contour so it blends. And I'm going to just put some Embark. Just dab a little bit of Embark to kind of just... Anytime I use a cream on my face, I just like to set it. I'll set that with Embark. Use that same brush. I'm just wiping it off a little bit. And get that blended out. My blush is going to be Sweet as Cocoa. Real pretty brownish red. With some shimmer. And that's pretty much it. Really don't need a highlight, but I'm going to use one um, Ruby Kisses. This is the brush that I use for that little fan brush. Put that on the top of my cheeks, the tip of my nose, down the bridge of my nose, and I just kind of dust my face with it without adding any more powder. And then I'm going to take my powder brush, the brush that I use to put my um, to set my powder with and just kind of go over that. Make sure that's all blended out. And that's it. I'm going to put on some lipstick. This is um, the new Wet n Wild. I think it's called Deep Pink Frost in 530D. I don't always line my lips because I have a natural line, dark line around my lips. Just for a little color. I might even add a little gloss on top of that. And next I'm going to just do my hair. I took my braids out on Friday. And um, I'm going to put them back, but I don't know when. And I just used some new products. I got a ton of new products um, during Black the Black Friday sale. And this is Quimet Biologics. Quimet Biologics. I heard about this from the um, Natural Hair Group on Facebook. And so that is the twist butter. I use that to twist my hair. And then this is what I use to moisturize with. I kind of mix the two. And it's the Amla and Olive Heavy Cream. So totally first time using both of those products. My hair. I twisted it right out to my braids out. So I'm going to take these twists out. Style my hair out. Y'all, I'm running late. Get ready to go to dinner. And I will be back, guys. Okay, you guys, so I am back. I took my hair out, and I'm ready to put it back up. I'm not in the mood to do my hair, but I'll leave it out for a while. I have a lot of new products that I want to try that I picked up over um, the Black Friday sale, so I'm going to leave it out for as long as I can. Anyway, I forgot to tell you guys, I did set my face with this e.l.f. Mist and set. I have a little bit left. I'm going to go ahead and try and finish using this. I like this pretty good. It's pretty good. So, um, I am Jackie. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions. And you guys have a good one and I'll see you in my next video.